Hello and welcome back to WCTV. I'm Tyler Geffert. Spring break came to an end this week and that means that school is back in full swing. With school back, spring sports are starting up. We all know what in-season sports have to do in order to be successful, but what about the out-of-season sports? Tucker Judkins has the story on what athletes do out of season. With track, soccer, and tennis just starting up, many Webster City High School students look to embark on a new journey in the spring. However, this isn't the case for all WCHS students. I caught up with some students who aren't participating in a spring sport to see how they're staying in shape. Is we attend um, weightlifting, which we call J House Beach Bod Boot Camp, because we do a lot of core and um, heavy lifting. Um, we practice every Sunday and we go to Diamond in the Rough and we just work on our hitting drills, our catching drills, our pitchers throw, and yeah, we. We hit dingers. We hit dingers. <laughs> a spring sport isn't always mandatory. Let's see what the football team's doing to stay in shape for their upcoming season. In the offseason for football, we lift and do speed training and lifting. We bench, squat, incline, bench. Whether it's lifting or going to Diamond in the Rough to throw a softball around, each offseason sport has its own way to progress through the offseason and be the best they can be. This has been Tucker Judkins reporting for WCTV. Thanks, Tucker. One of the things athletes have to do in and out of season is to work out. Sometimes it means hitting up the weight room and lifting 300 pounds. Other times it means doing 100 crunches or 30 second plates in front of the television at home. Some don't even work out at all. For those that don't have a coordinated workout, there's an app for that. Caitlin Seeley has this week's applicable app, Swork It. Have you been looking for a fun app to work out with? Well, now there's an app for that. It's Squirt Kit. Aaron Barnabas will be modeling some of the fun things that you can do with this app. On the front menu, you can pick between strength, cardio, yoga, and stretching. You click strength, and you can do any of their workouts that they have for you, like the full body. Then you can change it to any time you want, or tap it. You can turn off or on five second transitions and then you begin your workout. During your workout, you can click the blue play arrow to get it moving along, or you can click the fast forward button to skip that exercise. You can also end your workout, and at the end, it'll tell you how many calories you have. But you can also make a custom workout. I have two already, but you can also design a new workout. To do that, you just click whatever you want to do. Then save, and you can name your workout. You can also click the blue button and pick an already made workout. You can read about it, and you can add it. Then you just do as normally. This is Erin stretching before her Squirk It workout. She's using the phone to check what she's supposed to be doing. Now she's into her full move-in workout. Still using the phone, she does her workout. Now she's doing yoga to rest herself after her workout. This has been Caitlin Seely with this week's applicable application. Thank you, Caitlin. For the seniors, they have only 39 days left of school, and after Easter, the rest of the days are going to fly by quickly. When one group of seniors leaves, another takes their place, and when there's new seniors, there's new freshmen. But for the current seniors, Elise Manchester has their senior advice for the new incoming freshmen.
My advice to underclassmen would be to be involved in lots of activities as a freshman, um, branch out of what you would be with your regular friends and make new friends, and don't be afraid to step up into leadership opportunities as a freshman and sophomore so you can grow and really find um, who you are as you're a junior and a senior. You can't wear a tank top two days in a row, and you can only wear your hair in a ponytail once a week. So as you're signing up for your junior and senior classes, to sign up and keep challenging yourself and don't let yourself get caught in um, wanting to take all the easy classes. Keep challenging yourself. We wear pink on Wednesdays. Oh, and we only wear jeans or track pants on Fridays. Now, if you break any of these rules, you can't sit with us at lunch. We never even wait here. Take your ACT test really seriously because they can help a lot with college scholarships and um, Since Easter weekend is this weekend, I hope it'll be sunny and warm so I can go on an Easter egg hunt. But I'll leave the forecasting for Zach Dodge and the weekend weather. Hi, this is Zach Dodge with your weekend weather update. Friday will be mostly sunny with a high near 48, a low near 34, and wind speeds from 7 to 12 miles per hour. Saturday will be mostly cloudy, with a high near 42, a low near 27, and wind speeds from 8 to 13 miles per hour. There will also be a 40% chance of rain. Sunday will be mostly sunny, with a high near 44, a low near 29, and wind speeds from 7 to 12 miles per hour. This has been Zach Dodge with your weekend weather update. Thank you for watching. Enjoy your extended three-day weekend and have a happy Easter. This has been Tyler Guffert for WCTV. Asadi. 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 Asadi.